He did it with style. He did it with grace. He did it with integrity. And that's the reason he's going to continue to be with us. The Detroit Pistons regular season is over. And now the biggest offseason in recent memory begins. Troy Weaver and the front office will have their hands full. Plus, Jalen Duran got some high praise from an all-star. Lots to cover today, so strap in. Our Detroit Pistons finished with the worst record in the NBA this season, winning the tank race by a large margin. That means we will have a top five pick in this year's draft. I am bad, and that's good. I will never be good, and that's not bad. There's no one I'd rather be than me. Victor Wambamiyama out of France is of course the main prize, but if we don't land the number one pick, there are definitely other options. The NBA draft lottery is set to happen May 16th, so get hyped for next month. After Dwayne Casey got a promotion, the squad needed a new coach. Per Woj and Shams, the Pistons are already looking at candidates. As of right now, the Pistons have got permission to speak to assistant coaches Charles Lee from the Bucks, Adrian Griffin from the Raptors, and Chris Quinn from the Heat. All three I feel are the front runners at the moment, as they have a ton of experience. Other names are Josh Longstaff and Brian Keefe, who both had ties to OKC. So they're already familiar with Troy Weaver. Kevin Ole of the Overtime Elite League is also getting considerations. With the Thompson Twins in this draft, I find this very interesting. Last name on the table right now is Ime Udoka. We still don't have the full details on what he did, but I'm sure the Boston Celtics will let the entire world know if the Pistons hire him. So I have my doubts that he gets chosen. Last part of the Pistons offseason will be free agency. Hamadou Diallo, Corey Joseph, and Rodney Magruder will all be free agents. An article came out that Hammy sold his mansion. Diallo has played his best basketball these past two seasons. Now it's time for him to get paid. Tell him to bring me my money. Yeah! Having Hammy on the squad was exciting as he always brought the dynamite. So I hope he gets his payday. As for Kojo and McGriddle, the Pistons will still need vets around. So I could see at least one of them returning. Jalen Duran got some high praise from an unlikely source. Recently, Paul George got a podcast and it's been a very good listen. They have a segment highlighting the young talent around the league. On this episode, PG-13 put the spotlight on JD. Jalen Duran in Dur Detroit, Durant. big man. Jalen Duran in Detroit. How old is he, 19? 19. For real? Like his game. I like I like his, his, his value and I see what I think he will be in the league. Like, I think, I, I see him as like a baby Dwight Howard. What position he play, you say? Center. The center? The center. How tall is he? He's like 6'11", 6 6'10", 6 6 but he's like built like a grown ass man. I gotta go play with him. We then. played him, we played him, and like, you know, you, you when you boxing out like big men, like, you, you get a feel for how strong they are. Bro, I could not move him. I could not move him. <laughs> he he was, I'm like boxing him out. Next thing I know, he in front of me. <laughs> like, he didn't swim move me out the way. Like, and he in front of me now. So I'm like, God. And it, and it happened like multiple plays. I remember going to the bench like, yo, this little dude strong. <laughs> I, I just, I like, and I hope, because they got so many big men over there. Detroit got Wiseman. They got Marvin Bagley. They got Isaiah Stewart. Right. I just hope they don't stunt that kid's growth because I think he's going to be a big time player. As we see there, Paul George was concerned Wiseman would hinder Duran's development, but rest assured, Duran is the Pistons' starting center. Last topic I wanted to discuss was our favorite player in Europe. Pistons draft staff Gabriel Prachida was nominated for the EuroLeague Rising Stars Award. Prachida plays with a lot of energy and flair, so it's no surprise he's getting a lot of attention. The NBA made some changes recently with its collective bargaining agreement. Per Omari Sankofa, the number of two-way players has increased to three. Now rosters will have 16 players. With that in mind, Prachida has an even higher chance of making the squad. So hopefully he can secure this award and secure his spot. And that wraps up this video. The Pistons are going to be very busy this offseason. I'm very excited to see what moves they make. My season wrap-up and final Young Core video are coming soon, so be on the lookout for that. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe to see more Pistons content. That's it for me. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.